Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Zabrunda Raso Branda La Rushaka. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Because he is able, God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Cause he is ever. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Purpose and Marital Bliss with Pastor Honorin. Please leave a comment. Let me know who joined us. And I welcome even those who are coming much later to join us. Those who will come even much later to replay. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I trust God that he is about to bless someone through this session. I trust God that someone will be blessed in no small way. Hallelujah. God is able to do just what he says he will do. He is going to fulfill Every promise to me. Don't give up on God. Cause he won't give up on you. Cause he is able. God is able to do just what he says he will do. And he's going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. He's able, he's able, he's able, he's able, he's able. He's able, he's able, he's able. Oh, God is able to do just what he says he will do. You're so gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He's able. Kayana Baraswanda Balarushaka. Lizu Baraswanda Barushaka Liaka Raso Branda Larasiana. Liza Brunda Raswana Barushaka Liara So Branda Larusa. Kayana Nana Balaraswana Barushaka Liara So Branda Larushaka. Kize Brunda Raswana. Oh, Dickens Jones, thank you for joining us. God bless you. How are you doing? Trust God, you are doing good. Kazi Branda Larusha Kalia Karaswanda. Yeah, I'm feeling much better. We are gradually recovering. Slowly, but steadily, we'll get there, we'll get back there. And you, how are you doing? How are you doing? I hope you are fine. I hope you are doing good. Hope you are not 
going through some hurt again all over. It's fine. Do you hear me? It's okay. It is well. Oh, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. That's why I, but I, I look better than the other day, right? <laughs> oh, amen. All is well. Oh, Nicole, thank you. Thank you for joining us, Nicole. God bless you too. So glad to have you join today, Nicole. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course, prayers are going to reach you there. Not just prayers. We are talking about faith. Someone is about to stretch today by faith. Oh, Jones, did you did you replay yesterday's live session? If you did not, please go back. And Nicola, I would love for you to do so too. You'll be blessed. Someone is about to stretch for their hand and grab the answers to the prayers they have been praying by reason of this session. Someone is about to know what has been wrong with their prayer life, with their work, with God, with their, with their supply system. Oh, I hope you were blessed, right? Someone is about to know what it means to hack into the spirit realm and bring the answers. When Jesus said it is finished, it means he made everything available. It means he had done it all. It is finished. So whatever God tells you, when God tells you, you are blessed. He is not telling you what he will do. He's not telling you what he's struggling to do. He's telling you what. Amen. And, and I'm glad I'm looking much better. So when, when God tells you you are blessed, he's not telling you what he's planning to do or what he's struggling to do. No, he's telling you what has been done. But the problem is that what has been done has been done in the spirit realm. And it takes faith for you to be able to pull it from there to the reality. Faith is the confidence, the, 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 the substance, the confidence of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the confidence, the, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 verse 1. And in other words, it means for you to have faith. The, the, the first sign that you have faith is that you have hope. Is that you are hoping in that thing. You, 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 are, you have hope for it. And when you have hope, you have expectation. So the, the, the problem is that most of us, we say we have faith, we are in church, but we no more have hope. And since we have lost hope, we don't have any expectation. And since we don't have any expectation, our belief system has been shattered. So we don't even believe God can do it again. And at the end of the day, church is just an activity. It's just one of our chores. So you just, you, prayer is just one of our chores. So you pray and you ask God for things that you don't even believe that he, that he is able to do. And yesterday's session, the session was a product God was ministering to me. It was, it was just an overflow of what God was telling me. And I've been trusting God for quite a number of things lately. And then he comes to me and he asks me, he says, do you have faith? Do you believe I can do this? And I was like, yes, I know you can do this. And then do you believe I will do this? And for a moment, I was startled. And it dawned on me. And God says, that is the problem. Because most Christians say they have faith. So they know God can do everything. They know God can do everything. They've seen him do what you are trusting him for. You have surely, you have certainly seen him do it for another person. You have read in the Bible how he did it in time past. But the question is, do you believe he will do it for you? You believe he can do it. But most often we don't believe he will do it. Otherwise, when he does it, why are you shocked? You prayed for a breakthrough and then a breakthrough comes and you are shocked. Why are you shocked? If you prayed and you believe that he will do it. And God says the reason why many people are no longer... They don't have the sustainability. Please, I've got to. 
Oh, Johnson, I know you might be in, 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 in at work right now. I love it when I see interaction. It's not like I'm talking to myself. It's really discouraging when I'm just... I, I, I'm still not feeling that strong. I need all the encouragement I can get. <laughs> I need all the encouragement I can get. If I realize I'm shouting here to myself, I would better just go me and sleep me and rest. I still need a lot of rest. So this is a sacrifice. It, it, it should be worth it. So what was I saying? I was saying, many of us, we... Oh, thank you, Ma. Thank you. Many of, We go to God because we believe that he can do it. But the problem is... The problem is that... We believe he can do it, but most often we don't believe he will do it. So you pray and you cannot keep on praying. Your prayer is not sustained. Oh, Williams, Shalom Williams, thank you for joining us. Oh, no, Williams knows how to interact. One thing I love about Williams. Is that Williams knows how to interact. Williams, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> I know John should be working. So, thank you so much for joining us, each and everyone who are just joining us right now. Thank you. You are all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. We are talking about faith. And there is nothing. Faith is not one of the things. Or faith is not a foundation in Christianity. Oh, Asha, you are here today. Oh, my God. I'll preach this gospel. I'm so glad to see you today. <laughs> so I was telling those who were there yesterday that faith is not one of, it's not a foundation. It is the foundation. Without faith, you cannot receive anything in this kingdom. Without faith, you cannot even please God. That's what Hebrews 11 verse 6 tells us. He says it is impossible to please God without faith. We are saved by faith. Without faith, he says whoever, because whoever comes to him must says, believe that he is and that he is a rewarder. So until you get to believe that indeed he is, why, what are you saying, confessing to? What are you being saved into? You must believe, you, you can't see him. So for you to believe that there is a God, it's by faith. It takes faith to believe that there is a God. It takes faith to believe that now you are born again. Because when you are born again, your, your, your body doesn't start. Probably when you say that, when, when you make that confession, nothing happens. You go back to your seat and you sit as if nothing happened. So it's by faith. It happens by faith. By faith, you believe that now you have changed. You have lived from the life that you were living and you are now standing on a different platform. And then the changes begin to unfold. You begin to see the changes unfold after that. But as of the moment when, when you say Jesus is Lord over this life. Oh, Katie. So glad to have you join us today. Glad to have you, ma. We missed you yesterday. So as of the time when you say Jesus is Lord, nothing happens. You don't feel anything. So it's by faith. So faith is the currency that you use to purchase everything in this kingdom. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jones. Amen, amen. Father, please answer her. Father, please answer her. <laughs> Faith is the currency that we need to purchase everything. Everything that you will ever need from God, you can get. God will bring to pass every action propelled by your faith. Did you hear that? I didn't say some actions. God will bring to pass every action propelled by your faith. God will bring to pass every action propelled by your faith. Jesus says, whatsoever you ask and you believe that you have received, you will see it come to pass. Everything whatsoever you ask and you believe, 
you will see it. It means if you can learn to walk by faith, there is nothing that will be impossible. Nothing will be impossible for you. And it gets better. I remember some years back, some years back, I read, I, I read the verse that says, with God, nothing is impossible. And I was so excited, like I have a God and with him, nothing is impossible. And God asked me, where is God? Where, where, where am I? And I fe- at first I, I, I said, you are seated on the throne. And he said, really? I said, you are in the inside of me. He said, what does that tell you? And I heard the spirit of God tell me, he says, it means with you, nothing is impossible. And I didn't, oh, I was still so young. I was jumping, I was shouting. I started saying with me, nothing is impossible. What is impossible with man is possible with me. What is impossible, I didn't have the understanding of it back then. I didn't have the understanding of it back then. Because in this kingdom, you can only get, you are only permitted to get what God your faith answers yes to. So until your faith says yes, you can't you can't get it. Until your faith says yes, it is not for you. So until your faith tells you yes, and if your faith tells you yes, not even the devil can stand on your way. Until your faith, if your faith tells you yes to it, not even the devil can stand on your way. But now is that we are looking at the fullness of faith. So the, the fullness of faith is when we get beyond believing that God can do it to believing that God will do it. You have total trust. Faith talks about total trust in God. Because I said we have faith. The, the, you can have faith in different things. You can have faith in your husband. You can have faith in, in, in yourself. You can have faith in. But, but, but the first thing, first thing says have faith in God. As a matter of fact, the Bible goes further to put it as have the faith of God. It, it, it's, not, it's not just having faith in God. It's having the faith of God. You know the faith of God? Faith in God is just the same like, like the, 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 every other faith. When, when man says, I have faith in you. When, 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 when your boss looks at you and says, I have faith that you will push this project through. It means in other words, he's telling you that based on the way you have been working your input into this company and 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 your your effectiveness in what you do i have faith based on these things i have faith that you can see this project through when the world says there is hope it means that you are believing god for rain and you've looked outside and there is cloud the clouds have gathered the clouds have gathered, and then you see, you look at the clouds gathered, and you say, there is hope that is going to rain today. But then when God says, have the faith of God, what God is saying is that, it is the faith of God, the faith of God is the kind that calls things that be not, as though they already existed and they come to be, because he called, he creates everything that is visible from the invisible. So it means, in other words, that nothing looks like it. Nothing looks like it. There is no possibility. You don't look like someone who even, you are, you are believing God, you are trusting God for daily bread, and you don't even have what to eat, and he tells you, I'm about to meet you a millionaire. And if you, if you had a business running, or you had a company running, when he says that you know that you have something in your hand. So the mankind of faith, the world kind of faith is going to look at you, if they look at you with the company and all of that, they will have faith in what God said. Because that faith, it, it has something to work with. You look at the business and you say, yes, if he increases my, my, my sales and, and brings me more clients, I can actually cross the, the thousand and, and become a millionaire. But when God comes, the, the God kind of faith looks at you. You have absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The God kind of faith looks like uh, looks at Abraham, who is already 75 years old. And Sarah is already 50, meaning she has gone past menopause already. And she was barren. And says, your children shall be as many as the stars of the sky. Your children shall be as many as the stars of the sky. And, and, and Abraham looks at himself and says, well, how possible is this? What is the possibility that this can happen? And the Bible says Abraham hoped against all.
all hope. When every possibility and every hope has been gone, that's when the God kind of hope steps in. When every possibility of it ever happening has been taken away, that's when the God kind of faith steps in. It means the God kind of faith does not know any the impossibility. That's why the Bible says Abraham hoped against all hope. He did not look at the deadness of his body, neither did he consider Sarah's barrenness or the deadness of her body. She looked, he looked beyond all of that and he believed that he who gave the promise was able to bring it to come to pass. We see this in Romans chapter 4. He says he believed that he who gave the promise was able to come to bring it to come to pass. So hope, the fact of God is not about the possibility of it happening. Oh, Karin, thank you so much for joining us. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. God bless you on your birthday. I'm going to pray for you. Don't walk out on me. I'm going to pray for you. So the, the, the God kind of faith, the God kind of faith is, it, 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 it's not looking at the possibility. No, no, when, when there is nothing that is showing that this thing is possible, God says, yes, yes, that's, that, that's where I step in. Because if it was possible, you will not need the God kind of faith. You will not need the God kind of faith. He says, that's where I step in. So he steps in Abraham. All Abraham had was a big God and a big world. And every other thing was not there. He, he hoped. His own his hope was anchored in the fact that he who said it is powerful enough to bring it to come to pass. Kayana Baraswana Barushaka. I don't know what you have been trusting God for. I don't know what God had told you, and you didn't have and you didn't see the possibility of it ever coming to pass. God didn't tell you because he saw the possibility of doing it. God told you because he was telling you what he can do. God, when, when, when our impossibility starts, that's where God's possibility begins. begins. Yes, 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 childlike faith. Oh, 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 actually, you're already, in the, you're already in the spirit. It's like you're way ahead of us. You're already in the spirit. That's why Jesus said, Jesus told the, the, the disciples, said, for you to enter the kingdom, you've got to be like these children. You've got to be like these children. When my daughter, when my little daughter comes to ask me for anything, she never comes to me like there is a possibility that mama doesn't have money. When she wants to eat, she doesn't cry like there is a possibility that mama doesn't have food. No, mama has food all the time. Mama has money all the time. When, the, when, when she gets into church and it's time for offer tree, she just turns to me and says, mama, my offering. She doesn't believe there is a there could be a possibility that mama doesn't. But we, we talk about God being almighty, all sufficiency. But you pray to God and you don't believe, you don't have faith. You know he can do it, but you don't believe he will do it. Am I preaching good for someone? So God goes and, and see what? God waits until... Abraham has gotten old. Let's leave. Let, let, let me give another example. Let's not think that was Abraham, the father of faith. Kayana Baraswana Barushaka. Liza Bararasiana Barushaka. Oh, thank you, Jones. Thank you. There was another man of God called Zachariah. Zachariah was, 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 was a priest, and his wife was also from the lineage, Elizabeth, was also from the lineage of the priesthood. And they had no child, Elizabeth was barren. And they served God, the Bible said, they never went wrong. They served God, they were diligent in their service to God. Oh, good luck, thank you for joining us, good luck, Chok, thank you for joining us today. So glad to have you join us. Zachariah and Elizabeth, they were, they, 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 they were serving God. And the Bible says, we see this in Luke chapter 1. The Bible says they were diligent in their service to God and they obeyed God. They never disrespected or disobeyed God in any way. And the Bible says they trusted God. They had prayed for a child until they had gone way out of... I had always wondered, like, why is it that God never comes when you call, him, when you call on him? He just never hurries up. He takes his time. He takes his time. And I, I realized that part of that yesterday, I realized that part of it is God wanting to, to test your faith. Because he told us yesterday, 
The reason why you come to him to pray is because you believe he can do it. But what will keep you in the place of prayer and make you not to give up is when you believe that he will do it. And that is the real faith. Real faith is when you believe he will do it. Not just that he can do it, but he will do it. And that's what Zachariah lacked. Because the Bible says on this faithful day, the lots were casted and it fell on Zachariah that he was supposed to go in and minister to God for the people. And while he was in there, an angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, I am an angel sent from God. And said, your wife Elizabeth is about to be with child and is about to give birth to, 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 to a servant, to a servant of God. And it's going to be, and, and Zachariah was like, excuse me that is not possible my i am i am i am very old right now and my wife who was even barren is already very old and the angel said what you don't even believe it means that you had prayed because he, he when let's read that let's read that let me not just be let's go there i don't know where god is taking us but this is not exactly what i was thinking i was going to be saying by this time <laughs> but i'm just a servant in the hands of the most high however he wants to take me we are there look chapter one from verse five there was in the days of herod the king of judea a certain priest named zachariah of the course of Abijah, and his wife was the daughter was of the daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth, and they were both righteous before God. Can you imagine that? You can serve God in righteousness and still be barren. God's ways. You can serve God and still be barren. You can walk with God. He says, and they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless. You can still be blameless before God. Enough of you going, of people going through challenges and, and other people looking at them in church like, like, like they sinned. Enough, a lot of, enough of people going through difficulties and others looking at them like they went, like they did wrong, like they offended God. You can serve God in all righteousness. You can serve God blamelessly and still be barren and still go through and life still happens. That's what happened to Elizabeth. But the thing is, as long as you are in, in Christ, as long as you are with God, there is hope. There is always hope. So you can always have faith that he will do it. In military, but he will do it. And they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and they both now were stricken in years. They were old now. Thank you so much for joining us for those who are just joining Please, if you join, leave a comment. Let me formally welcome you. Thank you for joining us. And it came to pass that while he executed, I've skipped some verses, but it's okay. He executed his, the priest's office before God in the order of his cause, according to the custom of the priest's office. His Lord was to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. The Bible say, tells us in the book of Revelation that the prayers of the saints goes off goes up to God as sweet smelling incense. So this is him burning incense. In other words, he's channeling the prayers of the people up to God. And what is painful about it, imagine, imagine being in a position where you have to intercede for people, pray for people, channel their prayers to God and see them come back and testify. Say the man of God prayed for me, the woman of God prayed for me. I was barren, but now I, I am pregnant and I'm about to give birth to triplets. And I, I came here to just testify and say, God is good. And you who made the prayers, have been praying for your own self. Oh, pastoring work can be difficult sometimes. When you stretch for your hand and you make declarations and pray for someone and they get up and they are healed and you have to get up from there in pain and, 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 and carry that pain and you don't understand if the anointing that is working on others doesn't work on you. When the same hand that you lay on people the same hand that you lay on people 
and call for things that be not as though they already existed and they come to be. You lay on yourself, you make declarations, you speak the word of God, and it seems like nothing is happening. So to an extent, I understand what Zachariah must have gone through or what he was going through at that point in time. And a whole multitude of the people who were praying without, they were praying outside at the time of incense. So while he was channeling the prayers in the inside, and there appeared unto him an angel of the Lord standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zechariah, for thy prayers is heard. Thy prayer is heard. So it means that Zechariah had prayed about this situation. He had prayed about. Oh, thank you, William. Thank you. Zechariah had prayed about the situation. He had prayed. He had prayed and trusted God for 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 a child. And 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 I believe if he was still acting as a priest and channeling the prayers of others to God, it means that he was not. He was a man of faith. He believed if he had prayed, it means he believed God can do it. And if it's not for him, he has, he has seen God answer other people's prayers after he prayed and channeled. He has seen it. He had prayed. He believed God can do it. But let's continue. Let's continue. He says, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son. And thou shalt call him John, and thou shalt have joy and gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth. You have been praying and asking God for a child. Your prayer has been answered, and right now you are about to be very happy. You are about to be filled with joy because God has answered your prayers. And we would think that this should get Zachariah to be jumping and shouting and leaping with joy, right? For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost, even from his mother's womb. And many of the children of Israel shall turn to the Lord by their, to the Lord their God. And he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah, and to turn their hearts and the heart of their fathers to the children and the disobedient of to the wisdom of the of the just to make ready a people prepared for the lord and now listen to what zachariah said and zachariah said unto the angel whereby shall i know this for i am an old man and my wife was stricken in years and the angel answering answering said, not, said unto him i am gabriel that stand before the presence of the of God, and I am sent to speak unto you and to show thee glad tidings. And behold, thou shalt be dumb and not speak, and not able to speak until the day that these things be performed, because thou believest not my words, which shall be fulfilled in their season. Zachariah was in his life. At some point in his life, believed that God can give him a child. But after some time, he didn't believe that God will give him a child anymore. And many of us are in that place. In one way, in one aspect of our life or the other, you struggled with your marriage. You believe God for a kingdom spouse. And you know God can give you a good husband. And after a while, you realize that all your relationships were falling apart. And right now, you don't believe that God will give you a good husband anymore. You believe that God can give you a good wife. Right now, you are not so sure if God will give you a good wife anymore. You believed at some point. Oh, Pastor Rich, thank you for joining us. You believed at some point. When God told you you would be great, you believe that God was able to make you a millionaire. You believe when you saw that it is God that make it rich and added no sorrow to it. You believe that God can make you a millionaire.
your name. And then you had a job and you were still believing. But right now you don't believe he will make you that anymore. Oh, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm mentioning your case. Kayana baraswana barushaka. Okay, I'm talking to you and your husband. I love it when I start getting into cases. Yeah, that's what I love. I, I love it when I start getting there. You believe when you when you were getting married, you trusted God that you can have a blissful marriage. You know that even though you said for better for worse, but it was it was going to be all better. And 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 the Bible says brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. So you knew it was going to be a happily ever after. And right now you don't know if you can ever be happily married. You don't even know if you if you will ever be married at all. Or you don't even know if you can ever have your husband back. You believe God. Maybe something went wrong. Kayana baraswana barushaka. Oh, I'm talking to you. Okay, I am in. Uh, Jones, I'm in. I, I'm in several mailboxes today. <laughs> you believe God. You when you got married, you were happy. Everything was going on so well, and all of a sudden, a storm came from nowhere, and your wife started acting like she was drunk with something. Your husband started acting like something came upon him, and you don't know what, and you didn't know what came over them, and you trusted God that God can change them and restore them and bring them back. You trusted God and trusted God, and and at, at that point in time, they were just cheating. And the more you trusted God, the more you prayed to God. Because you know that God can take away that side chick and bring your, your or, or, or that side husband or that side guy and bring your husband or your wife back home. But it, the more you prayed and trusted God, it, it got worse and it got to the point where they practically left you and went to, to live with the, with the side chick. And they, they practically left you. And right now, you don't even believe God in marriage. When they talk about marriage, you the first thing that you believe that, that comes to your mind is hurt. And you don't know. And God is telling you, it's time to start over. And you're asking yourself, how, where do I start from? How do I start introducing myself? Hello, hi, nice to meet you. Where are you from? Oh, Paula, thank you for joining us. Where are you from? And you are like, I'm, I, I'm from California. Oh, wow. Uh, but, but, but I'm here. I find myself here in whatever state you are in. Says, and you are like, how do I start introducing myself to another person? At what age? What is the need? And God is telling you, no, honey, you've got to start over. If only you have faith. As little as that of a mustard seed that does not only say I can do it because somewhere inside within you, you know God can do it. But the problem is that you don't believe that he will do it for you. You know he can do it. You have heard people who have testified that at the age I lost my marriage and at the age of 55, God sent me a kingdom spouse and my life changed forever. And when I was thinking I was just about to just trust God to die and go to heaven, God sent a boss towards me and my life changed forever. And you are like, God, God can do it for others. But I am not sure he will do it for me. And you are telling God I have faith and God says, do you really have faith? If only you have faith, you will not, be, you will not find it so hard to start over. And you are like, God, I have faith. I know you can do it. The problem is... I don't believe that you will do it for me. I think I am too old. I think I already have three children. I think I already have a, a child. I think I already have grown-up children. Where am I going to start? It's already hard when I was young and without a child. It was hard enough to get married. Now that I have a child, where will I get a husband? Who is going to love my child and love me the same? And you tell God, God, I, I, I believe you can do it. But I'm not sure if you will do it for me. Zachariah got to the point. Oh, okay, I'm talking. <laughs> okay, Williams, I'm talking about you, right? I'm talking about everybody. The Holy Spirit knows each and every one here. God says you are going to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. And you are locked down in one corner. You are locked down in one corner, in one corner, in one society, in one quarter, where no one knows you, and you are struggling with life. You believe God can take someone who is a nobody. You believe God can take a fish. 
a man and make him a fisher of men. But you don't believe God will take you and make you a fisher of men. You believe God can take a Peter that is dangling with faith, that is today in and, and tomorrow out, and you know you have been struggling too. Today you believe God, tomorrow you deny him, today you were here, and tomorrow you were not there, and you believe, you believe that God can do it. The, the problem is that you don't believe he will do it for you. You believe God can do it, but you don't believe he will do it for you. You believe God can promote people. You believe God has God, God has established people. You've seen God establish people and make them millionaires overnight. But the problem is that you don't believe that he will do it for you. So the problem is we, it's not that we don't have faith. But the problem is that we have the introduction of faith. Because we have the faith that says God can do it. But the thing is we don't believe God will do it for you. Kayana mana sobranda la shahanda. And that's the issue. That's the same. Oh, thank you so much for joining us, Nisha. Liza bara suana baru shahanda. Liana banana nana siana. That's where Zachariah found himself. Zachariah was at the point. If he was a priest, it means he was a man of faith. Because back in the days, it took faith to even enter to serve the people. Because to enter and come back alive, it, 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 it took faith. It took faith because you could be killed if, if you entered and there was sin on you. You could be killed in there. But, but, but he, was a, he was a priest of God. He was the one channeling the prayers of the people to God. And if people come to you for prayers, it means that the, 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 the people come to you because they, they, they have faith that God hears you. They have faith that God answers you. They have faith that when you call on God, he hears you. And sometimes the, the pastor is dealing with situations that him himself, that is considered to be a man of faith. He has faith for you and he will believe God for you. But when it comes to his own situation, he knows God can do it, but he has given up on the possibility of God ever doing it. He doesn't believe God will do it anymore. To the extent that an angel appears and says, I am an angel sent from God. You've got to rejoice because your prayer has been answered and your wife will be with child and he says, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me remind you, my I am very old now. My wife was barren and old age has added to it. So I don't believe that God will do it for her. And the angel says this kind of unbelief because you did not believe I'm going to make you dumb because God wants to do this right now. God wants to bless you with a child right now and not even your unbelief is going to stop God. So it, it means that God has got to make you dumb and that is already introducing us to what we are going to be seeing tomorrow. What do you say? What's your confession? What's your confession? If you have faith, it should be seen in what you say. If you have faith, it should be seen in what you say. Because most of us, we pray and our, our confession cancels the prayers. We pray and what we say cancels the prayers. We pray and what we say cancels the prayers. Oh, the angel says, I, I won't allow you get to talk to Elizabeth. Because I need Elizabeth's faith for this to happen. And if Elizabeth, if Elizabeth does not hear this your expression of unbelief, Elizabeth can still believe and see it happen. So I am going to make you dumb until the baby is born. The pastor knew that God can give a child. Zachariah knew what God did. Was he older than Abraham? He knew that God can do it. He saw God do it for Abraham. At least he saw it in the word. He saw God do it for Abraham. He saw God do it for Rebecca, for, for Isaac and Rebecca. He saw God do it for Jacob. He saw God do it from generation to generation. But he did not believe anymore that God will do it for him. God says, he is going to use you powerfully. And you know God can do it. You've seen God encounter people who were nobodies. Kayana Barasiana. Oh, as you, God will do it. Age is just a number. God will do it. God can do it. And God will do it. Come on, everyone. I want to see your faith. Say what you want. Type it and say, God will do this. What is it that you, what, what are you trusting God for? 
Say, God will do this. God will do it. God will give me my kingdom spouse. God will give me children. God will give me the children I'm believing in for. I want to see the people typing. I told us how I'm motivated, right? I want to see you typing it down. God will do it. God will do it. Yes, he can do it, but God will do it. And, we have, we, and, and then the next typing is, what God will not do for me does not exist. We are, we, are, we, are, we are taking it a step order. Yes, what God cannot do does not exist. But what God will not do for me does not exist. What God will not do for me does not exist. What God will not do for me does not exist. We have been typing what God cannot do does not exist, when we, but we don't even believe. Yes, 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 Karin, God will bless you with a good job. The job will be so good, you are going to wonder. Everyone that hears about it is going to say, how did this come about? Oh, yes, yes, Pastor Rich, God will make you a kingdom financier. I said, God will make you so rich that you will die without knowing how much you actually have. By the time you are dying, you will never know the, 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 your, your estate in figures. You will never be able to calculate the figures of your estate. Oh, is, is, is your faith receiving that one or this one is too much? God will do it. God will do it. God will make you a kingdom financier. That's the heartbeat of God right now. God is looking for kingdom finances. Yes, Nicole, God is giving you a husband and a child. Not just a husband and a child, your children. Your children will surround your table. God will do it in your life, Paula. What God cannot do, what God will not do for me does not exist. Yes, yes, Karin. You used to post what God cannot do does not exist, right? That God can do it does not mean he will do it for you. What God will not do for you does not exist. Yes, Williams, God is giving you, God will give you a turnaround in your finances. God is opening doors before you, financial doors before you. God is opening financial doors before you. God is taking you to your next level financially. What God will not do does not exist. Oh, thank you for this. It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. What are you believing in him for? To become a millionaire, God will make you a millionaire. To be married, God will give you your kingdom spouse. Your boaz is coming for you. Your Abigail is coming for you. What is it that you believe God for? God will do it. God can do it, but God will do it for you. God can do it, but God will do it for you. God will bless you with your own children. God will bless your husband with a job that he never even dreamt of having. God will give you a job that you never even dreamt of having. Someone will call you. Liz Zubranda Rasohanda Balarusha Kalia Rasohana Barushaka. Nicole, God will give you a very healthy and happy and blissful family. God will do it for you. God will do it for you. Someone, God. God will send someone, God will give you the house that, oh, I received this for myself. I received this for myself. That dream house, that dream house, that house you desire, and you don't know, you are not sure if you can, if you can pay for it, because when you look at your finances, you don't know, God will give it to you cheaply. God will give it to you cheaply. God will give it to you. Ah, God will give me my dream house. I'm moving by the end of this month. I'm coming back with a testimony that I'm in my dream house. I'm coming back with my keys all paid for. God will do that for me. Kayana Baraswana Barusha Kaliara Siana. 
Someone, God will give you the house that you are trusting him for. God will give you the, the, the promotion that you are trusting him for. Someone, God will give you the capital. The capital that you are trusting him for to start that business, to start that organization, to start that. God will give you. God will do it. God will do it. When I say, won't God do it? Say, God will do it. Won't God do it? Who is answering? Whose faith is connected? We are the people I'm talking to. Won't God do it? Say, God will do it. Won't God do it? Say, God will do it. Come on, Pastor Rich. Won't God give your, your, your wife the, the biggest traditional hospital, one of the biggest and the best traditional hospitals in the U.S.? Won't God do that for you? Say, God will do it. William, won't God give you just the best kingdom spouse and just the best children that you could ever dream for and, and, and God will do it speedily. Won't he do it speedily? Say God will do it. Just won't God give you the best real estate company. One of the best that whenever they are talking and it's, and it's going to grow so fast that whenever they are talking about real estate companies, your company will be, will be mentioned. Won't God do that? Karim, won't God give you a job that is going to give you enough time to take care of your, of your baby and take care of your husband and still have time for yourself, but yet you are, you are earning so much money? Won't God do that for you? Oh, oh, I should thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, won't God make this channel, Purpose and Marita Bliss, to go viral? Won't God make Purpose and Marita Bliss to go viral? And we are going to sit here within the next few months and we are going to be in hundreds and thousands. Won't God do that? God will do it. Won't God take me to my house? Won't God take you to that house that you have been dreaming about and trusting him for? Won't God do that for you? God will do it. I feel like singing this gospel. Liana manaswana baru shakalia rasiana. Kayana manaswana and know what God what God will do. It cannot be stopped. It cannot be stopped. When the angel appeared before before Zachariah, what God he, he has nothing to do with his faith anymore. He he he, he expresses unbelief, and the angel says, "I cannot stop what God will do. What God will do in your life cannot be stopped. So even your faithlessness cannot stop it, because my faith is enough for you. I am here with enough faith for you. Yes, I am here to see you, Pastor Rich, be that kingdom financer. Just I am here to see you start over and get happily married. I am here to see you, Williams, happily married with your children surrounding your table. I am here to see you, Paul and Nicole, whatever you are trusting God for. I am here to see you trusting God. I'm here to see you celebrating and testifying. So I will, God will do it. So even if you doubt, I tell God, God, please shut their mouth. Let unbelief not come out of their mouth anymore. But I am here to say, God will do it. It doesn't matter how long it took. I am here to say, God will do it. In this life, I am going to see Monica running her medical center, her traditional medical center. I, I am here. I, it, it, will, it will happen. It will happen. When the angel came, it was not about the fate of, of Zachariah anymore. When Zachariah is saying, I, 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 it's not possible. It's not possible. When Zachariah is saying, it's not possible. I don't see the possibility of this happening. The angel says, you can't stop. You can't stop what, 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 what is going on. Your, your wife has enough faith. Oh, the Holy Spirit just told me that Elizabeth had faith. Your wife has enough faith. And your wife believes that even though she was the one who was barren, and even though she is old, Elizabeth believes that God will do it. So your own belief is not going to stop it from happening. They say it's too late. 
It's too late. It's too late. So you might not, you might have unbelief, but I will just shut you up so that you don't discourage your wife because uh, your wife believes that God can do it and God will do it. So all I need is one person to believe about this prayer point. And that's why I'm here to tell you, even if you don't believe you'll get married again, you will sleep and wake up and boys will be right by your side. And you are not, and you are going to ask God, when did this happen? I didn't think you can do, you will do it for me. I knew you can do it and God is going to say, someone said, I will do it. And I decided to do it because when I hear that, I can't withhold myself from doing it. God will open financial doors, financial breakthrough for you, Nisha. Financial breakthrough, it is coming to pass. God will do it. Elizabeth's faith to believe that God can and he will do it was enough. Was enough for it to come to pass. It was enough. That even Zachariah's unbelief, Zachariah's unbelief could not stop. Could not stop what God was to do. God just shut his mouth and said, you will not discourage your wife. You will not take this unbelief and go back home. Uh, because sometimes, sometimes it doesn't matter. You might be the head of the home, but you are tired. You have, you have, you have stopped trusting God. You have, you, have be, you have trusted God for so long and you know you no know more believe but, but, but it's good to have oh, are, are they godly wives? That's why I'm here to tell us that that's why you need to be a godly wife. That when your husband is tired, let your faith be enough to still bring that child. Let your faith be enough to still bring that child. The, the angel says, stop talking. Stop talking. I'm going to make you deaf. D dumb. Because all and your woman believes, your wife believes that you that God can do it and God will do it. Her faith is strong enough for us to deal with. Her faith is strong enough for us to work with. So we are going to ignore your own belief. And we are still going to because we need just one person that believes that God can do it and God will do it. And I'm here today on your behalf to say God can do it and God will do it. Now all of us, imagine if all of us come together. The Bible talks about agreement, right? And we agree with each other. You are agreeing with me as I'm agreeing with you that God will do it. God will give you a new marriage. God will give you that company. God will give you financial establishment. God will. Imagine the Bible says the strongest form of prayer is the prayer of agreement. Imagine if all of you here get into 20 or more that have seen this. If you have not given the video a thumbs up, please do that for me. If all of us here agree that God will grow this channel fast, that God will grow this channel fast and more people will hear such words, and more people will hear such words. Yes, you might go somewhere and hear, you, 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 you might have where you go and they prophesy to you and they tell you what's wrong with you and what's right with you, but you know that when I want to be fed spiritually, I know where to go. I know, and I and I think that many more people need to be fed this way. There are people who are spiritually hungry, and they need to know this. This is what will change your faith life and your work with God forever. If you think many more people need to know this, why not say God? I God will grow purpose and marital bliss with Pastor Honoring. God will do it if we can channel our faith. What God will not do. Does not exist. Hallelujah. Did we receive the word of God with gladness? Were we blessed by the word? God will do it. Even if you are expressing doubt, I, I believe God for you. Whatever your request has been, whatever your desire has been, I believe God for you. God will do it for you. God will do it for you. Oh, amen, 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 Paula. Amen, Williams. Amen. Amen. So imagine if one Elizabeth's faith could cause, in my delay, but it will happen, could cause the angel to not, to ignore unbelief and still give the miracle child. So imagine all of us hitting on heaven, say God will do it. We know God can do it, but God, and, and, and we know he will do it. How will heaven be silent? Heaven cannot be silent. 
out of this place, as many as are trusting God for marriage, God will give you successful and blissful marriages in the, in the mighty name of Jesus. God will give you successful and blissful kingdom marriages in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, amen, Jones. Amen. God will do it. God will do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is Karen still there? Karen, I want to pray for you. It's your birthday. I want to pray for you. Meanwhile, we are around it. We are done already. Meanwhile, it's time if, if you were blessed by the word, give an offering, sow a seed, say God will do it. Believe God, trust. That's another way of expressing your of expressing your faith. Say God, I believe you will do it. We have one minute to do that. Oh, thank you, Pastor Rich. Thank you. A purpose and a blissful marriage. Yes, yes, Jones. God will do it. God will do it. God will do it. Is Karen still there? Okay. Karen, let me bless family. Let's pray for Karen. It's her birthday. Father, I thank you for the life of your daughter. I thank you, Lord, for bringing her this far. Lord, I pray and I rededicate her to you this year in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that, Lord, by reason of this new year, she is walking into the next season of her life in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that by reason of this new year, she is walking into open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Financial open doors in the mighty name of Jesus. Open doors for happiness. I decree that this will be her best year this far in her life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, wherever she has struggled before, I decree that she will experience favor. Favor is coming to make things easier for her in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that wherever she has struggled, it is becoming easier this year in the name of Jesus. I decree that she is becoming a better wife in the name of Jesus. A better mom in the name of Jesus. I decree that her children shall surround her table and shall grow up to call her blessed in the name of Jesus. I decree that this year she will testify of divine health, divine health in her home, divine health with her child, divine health with her husband. I decree that whatsoever has been, the canker worm had eaten in her life before now, it is ended in the name of Jesus. There is restoration double for her troubles in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I pray for your daughter. I decree that she is protected. I decree that she is protected. Her family is protected. No weapon fashioned against them shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that a thousand may come at them, ten thousand at their right hand, but then it will not see them in the name of Jesus. It will not see them in the name of Jesus. I raise up a wall of protection around them. I reinforce the edge of protection around them. That every weapon that is shot at them, it will bounce on the wall and it goes right back to sender in the mighty name of Jesus. She will find favor with God and with man like never before. She will find favor with God and with man like never before. She will find favor with God and with man like never before. Those that people knock and they and they don't open, she is go, they are going to call for her and say we and say we, we just decided to open our doors for you. Please come. What do you think? When she's looking for a job, the problem is going to be which one to choose. We, it's not going to be will I work at all? It's going to be which one is most convenient. Kayana baraswana barushaka. In blessing, God will bless you. In blessing, God will bless you. God will set you apart for bless for, for greatness. Wherever you go, you will shine the light of God. Wherever you go, you win souls for the kingdom of God. Let the word of God in your mouth be sharp and ready at any point in time. Whoever you come across that doesn't know God, you are going to preach to them and you are going to win souls for the for, 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 for the kingdom of God. I make you an agent of, 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 of evangelism. I make you an agent of evangelism. That you are getting to your new level with your walk with God in the mighty name of Jesus. Kayana Baraswana Barushaka. 
Liana bara rasia na barusha kali ara sobranda la rusha ka. Kia na mana sua na barusha kali ara sia na baruza. Liza brunda rasua na barusha ka. You are blessed beyond a cast. You are lifted. When there is a casting down, you shall always and forever say there is a lifting up. You shall always and forever say there is a lifting up. Your marriage will be an exemplary marriage. I, I push you. You will become a marriage counselor. Your marriage will be so blissful that other couples will be running to you. Kayana Barasiana, make room for, make room in your schedule to counsel couples that are going through issues. Because your marriage will be so blissful that I am making you a hospital for marriages that are sick in California. Kayana Barasiana, are you even ready for, are you even ready for, 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 for what I'm, because I'm, I'm not telling you what I'm trusting God to do. God will do it. He will do it. Kayana Barasiana Barushaka, your first year of working, you will become a millionaire. Your first year of working, God will make you a millionaire. From your first year of working, God will make you a millionaire. You will be a kingdom financer. You will be a kingdom financier. You will be a kingdom financier. You will be one of the pillars to sponsor the gospel. That's the condition for your millions. That's the condition for your millions. That's the condition for your finances. The day you forget that, you have yourself to blame. Kayana Baraswana Barushaka. Every promise that you made to God, covenant that you entered with God, remember it, never forget it. God says he is faithful on his own side and you've got to be faithful on your own side. God says every covenant that you ever entered with him, God says he is faithful on his own side. Make sure you are faithful on your own side. Put God first in your marriage, in your finances, in every aspect of your life. And your life will be a mystery to the world. Hallelujah. God bless you. Happy birthday once more. Oh, it is done. My work here is done. God bless you for your seed, Jones. God bless you, each and every one of us who have connected with seed. That thing that you have been believing God for. God will do it. I connect you to that seed to further emphasize. The Bible says where our treasures are, that's where our heart is. So we have believed it. We have said it with our hands. We have tied it down. And our many, our treasures are there. To, all of this is telling God, God will do it. I'm waiting to hear the testimonies. Oh my God, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for joining us. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Click that notification bell so that every time we are live, you will be notified. God bless you all in no small way. You know I love you, right? With every part of my being. Every time I sit here, I, 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 I preach malaria, I preach fever out of me. See how I'm, most of them when I'm coming to sit here, I'm, I'm still shivering, I'm still shaking, I'm still recovering. Oh, you're welcome, Karin. I'm still shaking. But when I sit here... Who, 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 even ill health cannot stop me. We, we must hear this word. <laughs> oh, Pastor Rich, love you too, love you too. Extend my love and greetings to Monica. Tell her I miss her. Oh, even ill health will not stop us. We will, we, we must hear this word. How, how, can, how can we be in bed when there is a word like this boiling in the inside? We must hear the word. Okay, family, I've got to go. Thank you guys so much for being there. See you tomorrow, same time. God bless you. Shalom.